Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. Day two with no power. The, uh, it's not supposed to be back on today. Their best estimate is tomorrow night. We'll see if that happens. I think there's over 100,000 people without power over here. In the meantime, I'm feeling pretty lucky. I mean, I've been out looking at the damage of the, the house. There's not really any damage to the house. Just some uh, rain gutters that have come down, that sort of thing. My son's toy house that he had outside has been completely obliterated. It's really strange. It's like it blew the boards off the top of the house, the, the little house, not our house, and neatly stacked them under the deck. <laughs> it's like, wow, how did, how did it do that? That's so weird, you know? It blew them over there under the deck and they're just, I don't know, somehow the wind just got stuck in that spot. I don't know, but it worked. I, I Now I have to dismantle the rest of it and I guess I'll neatly stack it until I can figure out what to do with the thing. As I said, I, I feel pretty lucky after seeing some of the damage not too far away from here. There's a house where a giant tree was blown over. Actually, it looks like several trees, but you know, it smashed the house. I've seen trees fall on houses and it didn't damage them too bad. I mean, you probably have to get your roof replaced. This one looks like it, it pretty much smashed the front of the house. There's also some giant billboards that got blown over on several buildings, crushing them. That's uh, remarkable. I'm glad I go down into the city, you know, and it's like that. There's a lot, uh, a lot of places without power, without internet, like me. I don't know how I'm gonna get this video uploaded. There's so many things that I wanted to talk about, but I just can't, you know, like this, uh, I heard that in Missouri, they had like 20,000 dead people try to register to vote. Now that got caught. Um, and stopped, but it's kind of remarkable that 20,000 dead people would suddenly, I think it was like in a day, tried to register to vote in the state of Missouri. If you live in the state of Missouri, regardless of what uh, political party you, you are part of, that should be very concerning to you. I mean, that's, that's a really bizarre thing that 20,000 dead people would vote. Now, I'll, I guess we'll be waiting to hear what uh, what that was, I'm sure somebody's gonna say, well, you know, it was just uh, such and such thing or whatever, but we'll have to wait and see if they even say anything like, oh yeah, that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, but if you live in a state like that where this sort of thing is happening, you probably wanna at least get some answers from your, you know, local leaders and that sort of thing so that you know it's not something crazy. By the way, I'm sorry if the lighting is changing. It looks really cool in a way uh, the natural light, but you know, the sunlight has a way of shifting, especially when you have these clouds like we've got now. But uh, yeah, still not able to do normal videos or know for certain whether I'm actually gonna be able to upload this or not. Um, yeah, you know, editing on the computer is kind of difficult when you are in this situation. Hopefully I've been in focus the whole time. I don't know if I am. Normally I have like a little monitor that I use my phone with an app. If you're wondering, if you have a camera, you can do that. Well, Sony cameras can do that. I don't know if Canon or Nikon or any of the others can do that, but uh, no, anyway, anyway, I better end this because, well, I, the battery power is limited. I know it's gonna be a very short, short video, but I wanted to try and get something up, um, you know, otherwise the American expat daily is not gonna be daily and then the algorithm will punish me. So I, I have to do what my social media masters tell me to do. And eventually, when I do have power, I've got this video that I've been working on that uh, I'm really looking forward to putting together. But of course, I've got to get to where I have electrical power and internet to be able to do it. it there's no way it's gonna be just like a sit in front of the camera and you know, upload just pretty much this sort of thing. Anyway. I'll go ahead and end it there. Again, short video, short video. Hopefully you guys are doing all right. I saw a couple of comments from people that also experienced the, uh, the storms. So I'm sure that some of you have gone through it as well. Hopefully you did okay and got through all of this uh, without being too damaged, kind of like what we did. Hopefully you're not one of the people with a tree on your house or a billboard or something like that or have your house exploded by a tornado, heaven forbid. I'm gonna be watching the storms extra close from now on now that I know that tornadoes can come through here. What is this? It's like the, I, I'm sure that somebody's gonna say this is because of climate change. And very well could be climate change. I don't know how all that works. I'm not a climate scientist, but yeah, I'll be watching that pretty close. Next time the phone starts going off, because of a storm. I'm gonna be looking pretty close, believe me, 
not leaving it like, ah, oh, it's just one of those flash flood things that I don't have to worry about because I live way up on the top of this thing. Now, it could be a tornado warning. It could be. And, uh, I, yeah, I don't want to be in that situation again where I'm like, well, this could be it. I don't know where to go. I don't want to be in that situation again. I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to end the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.